luxury London department store, Harrods. When you have your place on top, nobody can take it away from you because you will have already made your name. According to Forbes magazine, Claudia has made a fortune out of her beauty. In 2007, the world's most famous monitor of wealth and power estimated her net worth at around 55 million US dollars. Is it still fair that they should be paid so much less than you? We are paid because of what we sell. We are not paid because of what we are. Compared to what we sell, we're paid little. Compared to what we are, we're paid a lot. Men are paid because of what they sell. They're not going to sell so many suits, they're not going to sell any cream, so they're not paid as much as we are. Not surprisingly, given the money involved, the world of the supermodel is highly competitive. Some would say cutthroat. In 1996, Claudia lost the lucrative Chanel contract to newcomer Stella Tennant. Karl Lagerfeld's alleged justification for dropping Claudia was his belief that Stella was more in tune with modern fashion trends. Thankfully for the 26-year-old Claudia, other designers disagreed, and she continued to find her services in high demand. One of her biggest fans was the colorblind and controversial photographer Helmut Newton. And I don't like very much either that the fashion trend right now is supposed to be, the, the women or the girls are supposed to be very, very thin, which could be very dangerous to all the young women and girls that are reading all the fashion magazines and following every fashion trend. So it, I think it's dangerous because if they, if they copy everything, they might copy to, to also wanting to be so thin, which, which can lead into anorexia, and that's, that's very dangerous. Her courage in speaking out about worrying trends in the industry didn't protect her from her own brushes with controversy. At the height of her career, she caused a stir as a result of her contract with sexy lingerie manufacturer Victoria's Secret, known for its risque catwalk shows and racy adverts. In 1995, a number of primetime US television stations refused to air one particular commercial, which involved Claudia writhing around in scanty lingerie to a soundtrack of jungle drums. The commercial had been shot in Paris. Claudia was surprised by the furor sparked by the ad, which the networks had declared too provocative. She simply saw the campaign as offering her a chance to tell a story that brought out the qualities of the product. The model's massive international profile has resulted in some unusual requests for public appearances. In 1995, Russian President Boris Yeltsin invited Claudia to Moscow to appear in a fashion show for the Our Home is Russia campaign. And she wasn't the only celebrity to accept Yeltsin's invitation. Only the month before, MC Hammer and British musician Glenn Hughes had performed to audiences thrilled to be getting a taste of the West. The campaign was designed to help the president win the youth vote in an upcoming election. I have always dreamed about coming to China one time and I've had incredible imaginations of the city and of the people and I was very, very curious. A few years later, she went to Lebanon for a fashion show and was shown around the presidential palace by Miss Lebanon, Joel Bolock, before meeting the president, Elias Rawi. He presented her with a piece of clothing she had probably never worn before, a blue abaya, a traditional Lebanese robe. Now, this is our first entry into basically Latin America, you know, we wanted to start with Mexico and we're going to go to other countries as well and South America as well. She also went on to launch her book and released the first of what would become four fitness videos. Although she confessed she'd never suffered from cellulite, she admitted that she found it hard to get motivated around exercise and couldn't just eat what she wanted. The video was designed to offer people a simple and easy way to exercise and provide an antidote to the many more complicated regimes on the market. Well, everybody is very different and um, I certainly am one of, uh, I have to work out also in order to have a fit body. I'm not one of those people that uh, can eat french fries every day and then just still look great the same way and, and don't have to exercise ever. I mean, these people do exist, especially in my industry, but I'm not that way. When Pepsi switched to blue cans in their branding battle against Coca-Cola, they employed the German supermodel to spread the news. 
she was in good company, with fellow supermodel Cindy Crawford and tennis star Andre Agassi also promoting the brand shift. What I like very much about the image of Pepsi, it's very cool, it's hip, it's young. Claudia has also appeared in a number of films and... No, it's not true. No, no es cierto. I, uh, I was in Milan two weeks ago and I did a press conference and I think that uh, the journalists have not understood me. I think it was a translation problem. It's not true. I love working for Citroen and I have many other um, projects. I love being a spokesperson for L'Oreal as well. And I do a lot of modeling still. I do, of course, I do also movies and other things, but I really love my work overall and I'm definitely not stopping. Aside from her substantial work commitments, she continued to devote time and energy to a number of select charity causes. It's a great idea, especially being a model, I think, you know, sometimes you kind of feel like a doll, you know, people dress you up, they dress, take your clothes off, they do your hair, they do your makeup. And when I was little, I was playing with my dolls the same way, so somewhere it's, it's, it's fun, you know, you feel like a little girl again. Naomi commented on the fickle nature of modeling contracts, something Claudia was all too familiar with. I hope they sell very well. I hope they go to children that need them and to people that like them. And I hope they last for a long time, longer than we do. Years missed being in the limelight. No, I don't miss the catwalk at all. I was asked if I wanted to walk the catwalk tonight, but I said no, because I don't really like doing it anymore, and I prefer to present Chanel and Lily Allen. The con I do believe, and, and, and you can see that, by the way, when you go to see a fashion show, how many, for example, singers and rock stars and so on are sitting in the front row because they all want to see and, and get inspired by a fashion show and, and vice versa. I'm sure a designer gets inspired by a, 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 a performer that he really likes. So it, that's why tonight it works really well. It's logical. The same year, she showed her deep commitment to environmental issues. She spoke at the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland to an audience more familiar with her as a style icon than as an environmental activist. The subject of her speech was the lack of ecological rationalism within the fashion industry. Wouldn't it be great if, for example, um, all the packaging of, of all the products that are on the market would be all eco-friendly? What a huge difference that would make. Or if someone would invent clothing that actually didn't need to be washed very much in hot water and at a much lower degree all the energy you could be saving there. Attending the conference with rock star and campaigner Bono, she told delegates that even small changes could make all the difference. If a <clears throat> company had a big building with lots of lights that were on day and night and they changed them to motion detectors so the last person leaves the building all the lights are switched off. Huge energy uh, saver. And then the everyday person could be thinking well okay well me at home I could change my light bulbs to a longer lasting one, uh, which is a, an energy saver. And this is how I'm helping. Um, that would be a great step forward. Claudia's romantic track record has been much more steady than many of her peers. You know, when you get engaged and you just, you just tell each other, that's it, that's, we know, we love each other, that's it, we, no more questions. It doesn't matter, we don't have no hurry now to, to go immediately and get married just so we can prove that it's real. By the end of the millennium, however, their very public relationship was over, with both of them citing conflicting work schedules as the cause of the split. The reception was held at the couple's £5 million mansion, Coldham Hall, in Suffolk. The ceremony itself was held in a small church. Yes, I'm very lucky because I'm a model and I have worked in the fashion industry for a really long time. I, you know, I know all the designers and it's really easy for me just to call them up and say, can you please send over what you got and the thing is they know my sizes they know exactly what looks good on me what doesn't and what I like so uh, that's fairly easy and then I just need to get the accessories together whether it's handbags or jewelry or things like this but it's you know basically everything everyone sends everything to you and all you need to do is just try it on and figure out what you like